So Renewsys has always been in the forefront for making encapsulants and backsheet. So in encapsulant we have now from EVA migrated to PoE. Few of our lines are producing 100% PoE and it, we have been selling it in India and also exporting it. We are also ready with our EPE which is a very new development in the Indian market and the samples have already gone out and we will be having an EPE range also now coming out for the Indian market. So to explain to you, Renewsys has been offering the latest world standard products in India in terms of encapsulants and backsheet. In our module business, we are already supplying Topcon in the market. We are amongst first very few players who are supplying Topcon in the Indian market in modules and uh, our lines are running full in Topcon as well. Apart from this, we are of course making monoperk. We also have a poly line. So modules we are running, we are doing very well with a capacity of about 1.8 gigawatt and we are in the process of doubling that capacity over the next one or two years. We are also going to launch a mono module for DCR market with a module efficiency of 19.5% plus. This will take care of the requirement in the Kusum scheme as well as the Pradhan Mantri Yojana for the 30 gigawatt or 1 crore houses that the Prime Minister has announced. We will be an active player in that market as well with our DCR offering. Whatever the government has done and the Prime Minister has come out with this Yojana is fantastic for the demand side. They have also come out with a scheme where the panels have to be DCR. That means the cells have to be Indian and the modules have to be Indian. I have my personal doubts about the capacity, cell capacity being sufficient for the market. But I am sure once we go about it, we will all realize how much the capacity is there and how much is not there. And then the government can convert some of the capacity to make in India modules where the cells can be from anywhere and the panels have to be made in India. So this is a phenomenal thing on the demand side as well as it will give a big boost to manufacturing and it will be a couple of steps forward for the Atma Nirbhar Bharat in the manufacturing sector as it is concerned. To supply DCR panels, you need to put more cell lines. Now cell line is a very expensive line and the, you have to be very fast in getting return otherwise the technology changes. So you were in poly, poly moved to mono, mono moved to mono per, mono mark has come and almost gone and you are now talking about Topcon. Topcon may last for a few years, it will be replaced by HJT or Tandem. So the technology is changing very fast. So DCR is one of the key ways that helps the cell manufacturing, invested in cell manufacturing. Otherwise, everybody would be happy to make only modules. So these kinds of schemes definitely help cell manufacturing and if there are more cells, then automatically people will be tempted to go into wafers. So an excellent decision for a large chunk like that and also helping the community and helping changing the total landscape of energy in India. Amazing uh, announcement. So module manufacturers want ALMM to come back in the form it was postponed by one year. So in this one year, Module manufacturers added a lot of capacity, 50-60 gigawatt module capacity is available and India plans to put 30 gigawatts a year going forward. So there is enough module capacity available in India to take care of all the needs of the developers, CNI, local market, DCR, everything. So now what the module makers want is the ALMM to come back in its original form starting from 1st of April. If it doesn't happen like that, we will all lose confidence and the business then again decisions will change and manufacturing will again take a back seat. So this is the right time. It is a request from all the module manufacturers for the government to bring ALMM in its original form. So now when you are swimming in the water, if the water is little turbulent, it does not matter. But if the water is very steady, then everybody wants to jump into the business. So sometimes the turbulence, sometimes the policy changes helps the existing player because we are used to the, you know, the turbulence in the water to say. But a policy, a steady policy will definitely help in the 
to grow the industry by leaps and bounds. Jobs will grow. Renewable energy sector, there have been a there's been a huge change and a lot of people are now getting into the green energy sector. So for the job scenario, this is amazing. There will be many jobs coming from the distributor end, EPC end. It will generate small businesses. Those small businesses will hire more people, more, you know, and a green energy will see a big influx of people uh, that will be needed in this market. So I cannot quantify for you how many jobs can be created or will be created. We'll need to do some maths, but it'll definitely bring in a lot of jobs into the country. So the maximum exports, uh, so our market is mainly into Africa, Middle East for modules. We are not exporting to the US market as we are not very sure about the cleanly or the clean supply chain. Let's put it like that. We are not very confident about the supply chain. That's why we are not exporting. Once we figure out a clean supply chain for cells, uh, polysilicon cells, wafers, ingots, everything being clean, then we will also be able to supply to the Europe and US markets. You should ask the US market about this. So many people are exporting to the US, the panels. So do you mean to say they are exporting inferior panels? Of course, that's not the case. So we are doing the same testing, IEC, three times IEC. The lines are similar that are in China and India. The uh, the customers send third-party inspectors 24 hours to the factory to inspect the panels. Then they are there for the final inspection. If the developers or anybody feels that the Indian quality is not good, they want to... We already have 24-hour inspectors from everybody. If they want five inspectors, welcome. What else can we say? But as for me, there's no. it's, it's a myth. Every module maker is ready to do any inspection, any testing that anybody wants. So there is no hide and seek here. It's a, it's a transparent game.